Good morning, Wild Pack. Ah, Tell me you can hear that. Who can hear me? Raise your hand. Raise a claw. Raise a paw. Shake a tail feather. Who can hear me this morning? Me and, me and my sound. Good morning. Who can hear me? Maybe. Hello. Yay. Wonderful. Okay. So happy Monday, y'all. How are you? Woo. It is already craziness up in this Monday. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. Um, I know it was um, <laughs> both hands raised and a tail feather. Thank you, Daydream and Tara. That's awesome. Okay. Loud and clear. That is wonderful because let me tell you something. The messages have started coming in loud and clear for you all this morning. And so I'm going to do my housekeeping that I got to do. And then I'm going to jump right into it. And today's session is going to be a little bit different. And what that means is, oh my gosh, Maria Cologne, I was just thinking about you. I'm going to send you an email. Um, so I, uh, no joke, Maria, you were just really heavy on my mind. I'm glad you're here this morning. So, well, I'm glad everybody's here this morning. So first of all, thank you so much to um, our moderators, uh, Maureen and Teapot. I, y'all, thank you so, so very much. And I'm really going to try to stay on time today, uh, because my moderators are so gracious to always volunteer their services. And I, I, you know, and I know y'all have lives and I get long winded. So I'm, 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 I'm getting there with the timing. Um, also thank you to Amy, uh, Pittman, Amy J Pittman. She is, I, I'm not really sure how it would really function without her and Joel. <laughs> Truly, honestly, I'd just be laying in my backyard going, help. And also thank you to you all, all the wild pack. I love you all. And I, it's just so cool that you show up, uh, not for me, but for the animals and for yourself. And it, it's just such an honor and pleasure to read for you. So let me tell you what's happening, why today's format's going to be a little bit different. So um, this is, you know, a live tarot reading, a, a live session, you know, live. And it will be all about the zodiac signs. But instead of going to each individual sign today, I'm going to group y'all together by water sign, fire sign, you know, air sign, that kind of thing. And, and the reason why is I was told this morning, it, it, it was just a crazy morning all around. I mean, just crazy. And it's, um, it has rained, 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 thunderstormed here in Florida, where I live in Florida for a few days now. And I, I think for those of you, you know, that are part of the wild pack and know me a little bit, I've, I've been really clear that when it does that, I, you know, triple Scorpio, I get like this and literally there's nothing I can do about it. Believe me. I've talked to every holistic healer, every doctor, every dang body. I've even asked the, I've even asked, you know, well, I always go to my guides first, but you know, sweet, sweet bejeebus. There's nothing I can do about it. So all that said, um, also hold on y'all. I'm going to adjust my camera just a little bit. Um, a little bit so professional. Oh, good grief. Okay. Hold on. There we go. That might be a little bit better. Here's my little microphone. And by the way, it's being held <laughs> in my temptations cat treats box. Cause, um, Joel had me buy this fancy new microphone stand and I, I can't figure out how to get the microphone in it. Thank it's a really good thing that I can talk to dead people and animals. Cause I'm <laughs> this is so useless and so many other things anyway. So, um, all right. So let me just, uh, let me just jump right in there. So, uh, good morning. Also, you know, I'd love it if you all would share, uh, the videos, you know, share the readings out with your social media it would be super helpful. And if you're new here, uh, hopefully you like the free content that I produce and you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure to hit the notification bells. I call it the ringy dingy bell thingy and get all of your note, get yourself notified. All right. I'm going to jump right in there. Cause here's the story. So, um, for those of you, uh, that, that know me, you might know in 2019, I had a health crisis and literally almost died. Here's why that is relevant for this morning. <laughs> you know, sometimes you don't get something until months later, a year later, two years later, three years later. And in the last 24 hours, I, I, I've probably had three dozen, no joke three dozen between friends, family, clients, uh, just people asking me questions, sending me, you know, pro I've had at least three dozens just in the last 24 hours. Have an epiphany based on something that happened to them months ago, a year ago, whatever. 
And one of those epiphanies made me laugh, but, but when I laughed, I started hearing a song in my head and that caused me to stop and think for a minute because I don't know about y'all, but when I know a message is coming through, whether for me or somebody else, the entire inside of my body, it looks like, <laughs> I guess if you could video it, it would look like Alka-Seltzer, <laughs> you know, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a message it is. Um, <laughs> see, it's, I've already gone south this morning. It's already way wrong. <laughs> Are you from the beginning of this morning? Sweet bejeebus. Hang on for the, hang on for the ride, y'all. So um, that's what it feels like in my body. And, um, and I was like, okay. So I sat with it for a minute. I can't believe I missed this message. But, but here's why it's relevant. Almost every message that I got from people in the last 24 hours was about how if they had seen the message if they had been able to recognize the message when it came to them at the time, it would have saved them so much grief, so much heartache and, and saved them from the pit of fear that they were in. It was all about, it was all about not having had to, to, to see things that way or put themselves through that or whatever. Okay. So here's the story, right? Okay. <laughs> That's me with my insides. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is the thing y'all. So I had, I had, Four surgeries in two days, came home, promptly collapsed. They had to rush me back to the hospital. All of my systems were shutting down. They couldn't figure out why. They just knew I needed a blood transfusion. Long story short, in the hospital, you know, in intensive care I go. After, you know, after they got me kind of sort of stable going, well, we don't know, we'll have to watch her. So it it was packed at, and I'm not going to say the name of the hospital because I don't want to dog them out, but dang. So... <laughs> And it's supposed to be the best one around. <laughs> anyway, so they took me to this room at two o'clock in the morning, two thirty, and um, and this old gal that was my roommate, and and I I could be, I couldn't move, I could barely speak, and I was like, I would like a private room, please. And they were like, there are none available, and I'm like, I understand there's an upcharge for that. I want a private room. Just charge me. And I'm like, call my sister. I'm like babbling. Just call my sister. She'll bring you one of my credit cards. While they're like, ma'am, we would love to accommodate you, but there are no private rooms available. Now I would have normally minded sharing a room with a person, but I, I hello, there's a reason that you're psychic. And even if you're about to check out, you know, go, exit stage left out of this world, that does not, that's probably some of the time that you're most psychic because you're, you know, your senses are on such a, they're on flare, right? Okay. So. So this old gal was playing the TV, you know, at all decibels and so on and so forth. And she just would not stop talking. I wasn't even responding to her because I was near comatose, but she would not stop talking. So finally I summoned enough energy to uh, 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 press the bell and get the, um, you know, one of the nurses to show up. And I was like, so she got down, I whispered in her ear, I'm like, listen, I can't hang. You've got to t put me in the hallway, put me in the hallway, put me in a bathroom. I don't care. Put me in a broom closet. I cannot, ma'am, we really can't do that. I'm like, okay, fine. Can you bring me earplugs? <laughs> so the nurse brings me earplugs. I get my earplugs in. That didn't stop her. But as I'm sitting there thinking, and here's what I was thinking. Now y'all, I'm country. I am. I make no bones about it. I am country as corn, but there is country. And then there is Okie Finoki. <laughs> so, so I, I really am not a judgmental person. Truly. I'm not. But at that moment, I just, all I could latch onto was how, and I just in my head started calling her trailer park Trixie rude. I never called her that to her face, but that was just as hateful and mean and nasty as it could be to even think of somebody in that way. And I was ashamed of myself, but I really didn't care at the moment because I was in such agony and she wouldn't shut up. And I could hear her through my, through my earbuds. So I could feel, I could feel things getting worse in my vitals and whatnot. And all of a sudden, uh, I heard the ding, ding, dings. And I knew that I knew they were coming for me. And all of a sudden two nurses rushed in and they're taking my vitals and they're doing this and doing that. My right hand up to whatever it is that runs this universe, which is all of us. And on my mother's river, she wasn't, we, 
she was cremated and put in a river. So I don't say on my mother's grave. I say on my mother's river. All of a sudden I heard harmonica music and this is what, this is the song. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. It was in a key that sounded like James Earl Jones was singing this song. Carry me home. That's all I could hear in my head. And I thought, that's it. I'm going to die right here in a room with Trailer Park Trixie. And where the hell is this? Where are the H-E double hockey sticks is this harmonica music coming from? So the only thing I could get out to the nurses was, <laughs> where's the harmonica music coming from? Is it, am I, am I hallucinating? You just have to tell me if I'm hallucinating. No, ma'am. One of the volunteers for the hospital comes in and he, he plays harmonica music, you, you know, in the middle of the night when people are at their scaredest and most painful. And I was like, and so he's playing swing low, sweet chariot. Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> Out I went. <laughs> so <laughs> here's the story. And here's why this story is relevant to you. I was in such a hot mess at the time. I didn't realize that was spirit's way of saying, Bernadette, it's going to be okay. I won't go into the whole story now, but I do have a video about how a spirit animal literally saved my life. And it's a horse. And in my deck, the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck, which is what I read from, you know, the chariot card are horses. And, and I was going to go home, but it wasn't that kind of home because, because when I think back on it, truly before everything started crashing again at the moment, I was thinking I've just, and I, my mom used to say that this Bernadette, you've just got to gut it out until, and in my head, I was going over my mom's words, Bernadette, you've just got to gut it out until you can get home. You've just got, and all of a sudden this song is playing. Well, spirit knew that that crash was coming and I was going to get another, uh oh, it's lights out scare again. And that was spirit's way of trying to tell me your horse, your spirit animal horse is still protecting you and wants you to know that the sweet chariot is going to carry you home. Duh. But in the moment, I just thought the worst. All I could see was the worst. So there are a couple, there are a couple things before we start these readings. <laughs> Just go to sleep, Bernadette, I know, right? Um, Lily, it's, it's a true story though. I mean, <laughs> if I could have, hey, 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 all the way from sunny Dublin. Hey, y'all. Uh, Roz, I'm going to say Roz because I've never figured out how to correctly pronounce your name, but so much love to you and Stephen and the baby all the way from Ireland. So, um. So, and then when I woke up, they wouldn't give me my cell phone to call my sister. But anyway, that's a whole nother thing. So for literally a month after that, anytime I got a scare, I just started singing sweet low. Now, and here's the other thing. I'm from the South, y'all. Nobody sings sweet low, uh, like Mahalia Jackson, people that have got a Mahalia Jackson voice or a, you know, that cacophonous baritone kind of thing. Right. So, um, so yeah, so here's what this has to do with you. First of all, you know, I know that you all are the best people. I know the wild pack is just full of the very best people, but even the best of us, when we're scared, when we're in pain of any kind, you know, physical, mental, emotional, we can get judgy, right? We can get snappy. And so the first thing is, is just when you're in that space, and this is for all the Zodiac signs, right? Okay. When you're in that space, maybe try to remember this story and sing sweet low, sweet low to yourself. But um, mostly that, you know, are you really seeing things the way that they are? Or are you seeing the things and the people that are involved through your filters, which are pain and fear? The next thing is don't, don't automatically jump to a conclusion that something is negative because somewhere in your mind, you've got a negative connotation and why would anybody have a negative connotation about that song coming for to carry me home it really is a beautiful song of welcome and you know uh i i trust that there's a life after this and whether whatever you whatever god goddess supreme ruler being all that is source the universe whatever you believe in um Okay, worse things could happen than the beautiful chariot shows up to be your ferryman to the other side, right? Okay, so that's that. 
So what that told me was today is the day, whatever messages are coming for y'all today, I don't know whatever intention y'all set, but I'm telling you here and now that the, um, oh, bye Lisa. Um, I'm telling you, uh, I'm telling you now you're missing the signs and it's probably some of the most important ones that are actually your spirit guides, your angels, you know, the animals are always there. The animal spirit guides are always there. Um, that are, they're trying to get you messages in any way that they can. And yet you're not seeing them or you're interpreting them in a negative light when really they're trying to get you positive, right? Like as I look back on it, I know spirit was trying to tell me, um, Hey, you big dummy, the lighten up, you know? Um, because it's funny. I mean, really in, in retrospect, that's hilarious. You know, I'm laying there in the middle of everything. Oh gosh, let me tell you one other thing. Listen to this. So the next day when I was actually a little more coherent, now as, as ugly as it was for me to call that girl trailer park Trixie in my head, she wasn't a girl. She's 50 something years old. She, she's a woman, should know better. She, <laughs> I'll never forget this as long as I live. That old gal got out of bed and she waddles cause she could barely walk either. She was sick as a dog too. She waddles over to my bed and she holds this picture up to my face. And I was like, I'm looking up at her like, and I said, okay, that's a beautiful dog. And, and she says, that's my baby Trixie. Right hand up to the universe. She says, that's my baby Trixie. And I miss her so much. I've got to get out of here and get home to my baby Trixie. Y'all. <laughs> As if the rest of the health drama wasn't enough, I about choked to death in that bed. Oh my gosh. I just, I was like, that's a beautiful dog. And then, then she spent an hour and a half telling me why she feeds her dogs Twinkies and chocolate covered things. And I kept, anyway, then we had, an, I tried to explain to her caffeine is not good for dogs. Uh, it's not the chocolate that will kill them. It's the caffeine, just so you know, in case anybody didn't know that the chocolate itself is not toxic. It's the caffeine they can't take. Anyway. All right. So first things first, we're going to. We're going to hit, here we're going to hit the, um, <laughs> um, we're going to hit the, uh, Zodiac sign. So the first, the first one I'm sitting, I don't know if y'all notice I'm in here, the clank clank in the back, but I'm sitting here and I'm shuffling cards and I'm drawing cards. So we're going to go with earth first, right? And, um, so this, the, the, kind of the mood or the energy around these readings this morning is what are you missing? What are you not seeing? Or what are you interpreting incorrectly that spirit's really trying to show you? So what's really fascinating is, um, so Hippo has come out for you earth signs today, Hippo. And, uh, you know, uh, if you need to be reminded, uh, earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you guys are slow, you're steady, you're solid, you're grounded. But now you've got an animal that lives a good portion of their life submerged in water because it's too darn hot. It's too darn hot where they live. Unless, of course, they're being held hostage in a zoo or an animal sanctuary or whatever. Um, and I'm not busting on zoos. Well, I am kind of a little bit. I just hate that we need them. But that's a subject for another day. But um, so Hippo for the uh, earth signs, you know, they really are solid and steady animals. However when you put them in the water, they become light as a feather, right? And they can move more freely and they can, you know, water of course is the element of emotions. And so you might be going through something right now, earth signs where you really are called, um, you know, your Zodiac sign is just really called to lighten up. And I don't mean like lighten up, you know, like lighten up. It's not really like that. It literally is. Sometimes you can get so focused. You've got, uh, I don't know if y'all have ever seen on horses a lot. They'll put those, uh, the, those things on them where they can't see to the side so they don't get spooked. Um, <laughs> that always cracks me up as if a horse is not going to sense. They all, people think horses just need to see. They have no, don't get me started on that either this morning. It's a root chakra day, by the way, y'all. It's moon energy um, all up in here and it's root chakra and it's fixing a rain out here again today. And I'm like, wow. But anyway, so 
I would say that you've got some blinders on and that's the message coming for you, Earth signs. Again, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, you know, we all love you because you are so solid and steady and grounded and stable, right? Um, and that, that, that is it. That's admirable. It really is. I mean, especially to somebody like me, I'm a water sign. I'm like every, you know, I'm like picking up the, the you know, turning on my phone in the morning is an emotional event. <laughs> it's an emotional event for me, but, um, but for the now, for whatever. So it's like, whatever you're trying to figure out, whatever you're trying to act, well, even if you've like asked for messages, from the, your animal allies, from your spirit guides, your angels, your whatever, you've got to, um, um, hey, uh, Maureen, I don't, I don't know if you saw that teapot is asking, can you help cover for about five minutes? Um, she has to step away for a minute. So, um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm going to answer for Maureen teapot. She can. So, uh, she's got the power. Uh, uh, uh. So she, um, it, it's like, it's like literally whatever question you have, whatever concern you have, whatever fear you have, earth signs. Okay. This is for earth signs. It's all about you being a hippo. And what that means is again, going back to the water, it's going to be taking a look at your deepest emotions. It's going to be about you getting comfortable in those deep emotions. Cause you know, Earth signs are typically not so very comfortable, right, in, in, in emotional situations as a general rule. Now, that's not everyone because, of course, you know, I'm just speaking about, you know, zodiac signs and, and doing this tarot reading, you know, for, for the, the, your, your birth sign in general. But then, of course, you got your rising sign and your moon sign and all that, right? Okay. So um, it is incumbent upon you for yourself to be able to get these messages by something connected with deep emotions. Now, having said that, let me say this. If, have y'all ever seen that video that flies around um, YouTube about um, these old boys are in a boat in Africa somewhere and it's not a very big boat and all of the, they're filming out the back and all of a sudden this hippo rises up and misses biting their boat by like that much. I don't know why that video, I look at that and I, my heart races every time. But here's why I'm called to talk, tell you about that video and tell you about the emotion. There's some, something you've got to take care of that you won't take care of it effectively or completely unless you come up out of your emotions. And I'm I, when I see this sign in my head, that spirit telling me, and it's both sides of that coin. And what that means is if you're too emotional and you come up out of that water to try to take a bite out of something that you're trying to figure out or somebody or a situation or whatever, then, um, then that's, that's not going to help. And if you decide I, I absolutely cannot take care of this or make this decision until I can get rid of the emotion that's attached to it, also not going to help. It's got to be somewhere in the middle or whatever the decision is, the information you're trying to receive that, whatever your interpretation of that may be. Um, the, mm. I would really encourage you to work with hippo energy. And the other thing that I will say is, okay, just say yes in the chat if this is true. Now, I know I'm talking to earth signs, but I was just told something from spirit that's really for all of all of y'all. Have, have you all been experiencing a lot of sleeplessness lately? Like can't get to sleep. And even if you do fall asleep, you're restless and you're up and you're down and you're up and you're down and you're up and you're down. Um, put, put in the chat if that is, if that is true for you. I, I suspect that it is, um, yeah, C. Canuel craziness, right? Okay. Okay. Um, Right. I know this chat is just going to fill up with people that have been having trouble sleeping. So the, so I'm half, I'm half reading tarot, you guys, and I'm half in my psychic mind. Um, well, they're the same. So let me just be honest. I never get out of my psychic mind. 
And so, right, Lucky Jenna. Oh, girl. Lucky if you get three hours last night. Sweet bejeebus. Okay. But, um, yeah, right. So, um, Lily, that's true. So, again, I'm, I'm, on, I'm, I'm on the air, the earth signs right now, the earth zodiac signs. But this is a general message for everybody, no matter what your zodiac sign. And it's about the sleeplessness, which is going to dovetail, which is going to feel like a, a hurricane in here today. Rock me like a hurricane. Um, so this is going to be for everybody, but this is about receiving messages. So you think, I don't know what you think is causing your sleeplessness, but let me just tell you, spirit says it's because spirit is trying to get to you at all hours of the day and night. Not like, oh, well, I'm worried about this one thing, or I've got this one thing on my mind. No, literally spirit is going, wake up sleepyhead. Hello. And get, so when you wake up at night, just get still and, and, and just ask to be shown what, what, what you should be paying attention to at that moment and then get what you need. Um, actually for once I've been sleeping like a baby. Good for you. Um, two Rosa, two hours of deep sleep a night. Oh Lordy. Okay. So, um, so there you go. Yeah. Upgrades, downloads, activations. Exactly. Maureen. Yeah. So, um, it doesn't help when your counter visits. See, can you, well, your counter, like your kitchen counter, your bathroom counter. Okay. All right. So let me, um, let me go, uh, on. I want to pull another card, uh, for the earth signs. Hmm. Man, you earth signs, y'all must be having a hard time. So here's the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Maybe she'll start to read tarot instead. Um, it's the five of swords inverted. And when I think about how that goes, oh, dirt, y'all. Okay, listen, y'all, earth signs. You are blessed, Jacqueline. You get the eight to 10 hours of sleep a night. If you could bottle that and sell it, you'd be the richest person on the planet. So... When I take a look at five of swords inverted, you know, that's, that's the pride goeth before the fall card. So for you earth signs, you know, you may not fall long, but when you fall, you fall hard. Meaning you may not fall from great heights going plummeting, but when you keel over, meaning a situation, a relationship, a conversation, a, you know, whatever you, you face plant, it's no joke. And so there's something with you earth signs going on right now. Again, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. It's like you're, you, you may be, oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> when I, when I, so here's how, for those of y'all that are learning to read with the arc, right? Yes, I'm putting in, I'm, I'm putting a learn how to read with the arc tarot um, class together. It's, it's no joke. How I do it in my head is while, while, while a lot of tarot readers will take a look at the archetypes and they'll look at the flow of the story just based on the tarot. I do that as well. However, I ask the animals to talk to each other and talk to me to tell me how they're working together, right? Because you've got the traditional Rider Waite Smith tarot card meanings, which is what the arc is based on. And you now you also have the animal energy that is matched to that card's energy and message. And when I take a look at the hippo and the fly together, the inverted five of swords, what I know is that for the earth signs going on at the moment, there's something going on that you you're afraid to change because you, you don't, you don't feel like you've got all your ducks in a row, meaning you don't feel like your plan has been perfected yet. And you're so busy. Um, I, 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 I you're so busy, um, trying to make sure that you get it right, that it's perfect. Again, you're missing the forest for the trees. And, and in your mind, having an emotional plan attached to it is like the kiss of death. 
like you're just trying to analyze it, analyze it, analyze it. But you, you don't do that. Just don't, don't. I mean, I'm not saying, listen, I'm not, I'm not saying don't analyze things. What I'm saying is don't, don't issue analyzation or don't issue your emotions just to analyze. I'll tell you why. Of course I will. So, so the thing is, is that when we're passionate about something emotional as it were, okay, that, that gives us freedom to fly, freedom to dream. And it's in our dreaming moments that we come up with some of our most brilliant stuff, or, or should I say, we allow the downloads of some of our most brilliant stuff. Now, brilliance can be anywhere in anything. My sister, I talk a lot about my sister, I know, but she's one of the most fascinating people I've ever met. Truly, she's a fascinating person. My sister, once a month, my sister picks a, a food, a dessert, a, a cream sauce, a something that she's going to perfect. And dang it, if all month long, she doesn't make it and make it and make it and make it and make it. Yay. Good for me. <laughs> and she got hooked on a hollandaise thing one time. Y'all, she came up with her own little tweak to add to hollandaise sauce. I am foreboding from telling it. But I got news for you. There isn't a French person on the planet that's ever made a hollandaise sauce like my sister's hollandaise sauce. Not never, not once, never will be. It's the most unlikely thing. It's crazy. And yet. And it's because when she cooks, that is an active meditation for her. She actively meditates while she, you know, you don't have to sit and moan, moan to meditate. That's not the only way to meditate. You heard it here first, maybe. Um, and so... You, you really are being called to know that if you will not open yourself more, take those blinders off, let yourself become buoyant like a big old hippo in the water and sit with those emotions. Let them fill you up. Let them surround you. Tru oh, trust. Hey, y'all. Who, who, who? Who out there is having at this moment, like she really is a kitchen witch, Nikki. You have no idea. Like it's nuts. She's the, she is the ultimate kitchen alchemist. The only other person I happen to know personally that's like that is Patricia Telesco. Um, if you guys don't know Trish, she is uh, a good buddy of mine. Um, she helps me out. Uh, she's got like 130 books on the market. One of the most well-known, most prolific pagan Wiccan witchy poo authors of all time. She's got like 130 books on the market. She's been around for a long, long time. And she's the, she and my sister, the ultimate alchemist kitchen witches. They're nuts. But here's the thing. I keep hearing that for a bulk of y'all today. No, I know Amy, her sourdough, it's the shiz. Uh, I know I'm talking to Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, but for a lot of y'all, you're, you're, you're literally going through a trust issue at the moment. Like not right now at this very second, although that might be, but in your life in general. So, um, uh, uh, Bet Betul Kaya, it's, uh, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn is what I'm focused on right now, but it's also th this about trust is for the general y'all. Okay. So, um, I'm just saying that I'm feeling like for the, for the bulk of you all, there's a big trust issue going on in your life right now. And you got to get over that because it's, it's you wanting to go away from your emotions which is causing it. That's causing the trust issue. Okay. So, um, okay. Y'all, I want to control how these readings go. I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm an evidential psychic medium. And my, my promise to spirit is that I will always deliver the messages as they come to me. I put my head down because right at the base of my skull, right where your spine comes up and it, fuses to your skull right there. Whoever of you back there have an injury or a pain that's right there and maybe goes just a little bit down just, just from there to where it would sit in between your shoulder blades or right under, this is in particular a message for you. Um, it's in particular for you, which is you've, you've literally got a bottleneck. You've got an emotional bottleneck right here. 
it, I don't know why you store your emotions right there and down into the into your shoulders, right down your spinal cord. But this is a, a very special shout out for people who have pain here, an injury here, or or if you have someone who crossed that has that, then um, they're. Oh, I think maybe it might, some of you might have a hereditary thing in that place. Anyway, if, if a person that's passed had that, that's their message, get with program. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Okay. So, um, all right, there we have it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to move on to the air signs. And that is, uh, so this is, again, this is a live tarot reading today. If you're just joining in, I was called this morning to work with all of the zodiac signs and give the zodiac signs readings um, as a group in, in terms of their, um, their element. And right now we're on the air sign element, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, here is your uh, tarot reading for the day. And... Okay, sorry, I'm just hearing what, so just so you guys know, as a general rule, if you don't know already, uh, air signs are the big dreamers, man, their eyes are always open wide, they, they just can always see the big picture of things, uh, well, let me just say they can always see things how they could be, the best of how they could be, and that's like a, a big, you know, not everybody is capable of that, well, we are, we all are capable, but they just are more naturally inclined to that. So this is a very interesting card to come out for you all today. Wow. Okay. I'm already seeing a trend here. So elephant as the justice card, we're talking <laughs> Libra, Gemini, they're, they're dual cards, right? The balance, the, the scales of justice, Gemini is a, is a duality sign. And now we've got the justice card coming out, which is a duality sign. It's a balance. It's, it's a balance tarot card. So, and also elephant is another humongous animal. <sighs> okay. Do y'all, do y'all have, um, just whatever, whatever, whatever is going on in anybody's life, regardless of your Zodiac sign, do you guys have some really big decisions or big things on your mind and on your heart at this time? Like for this week, this up and coming week, do the majority of you guys have like big things? Because when I take a look at, um, when I take a look at the messages starting to come in, I, I'm not, re I'm not overloaded, but I'm receiving it as like, like if I were at a trail, uh, if I were at a train station, car after car, after car, after car, after car, after car, is just loaded down with the decisions that the wild pack has on them now or is coming within the next week to two weeks. So I'm going to say week to two weeks, the wild pack y'all no matter what your Zodiac sign is, but, but it is very, very, very important for Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, because those are the Zodiac signs that I'm, I'm doing the live reading for at the, at the moment. And I'm also hearing it has to do with everyone. It's, um, you have big stuff ahead of you big um just a big it's just a large week and a large actually two weeks is what i'm hearing so let me just say this you, you, air signs it can be easy for you to waffle back and forth and back and forth and back and forth you can't do that now. If you waffle here, you've got to waffle equally over here, but you've got to, you've got to stop the waffling. And again, an elephant is such a ginormous animal and it is a slow and steady animal. You know, elephants are not known, <laughs> they are not known for being racers. And uh, that's not to say they can't get with it, but their, their protection is their might and their community and their community. I mean, they will, they will all band together for community like few animals will. 
And so there's something about this that y'all are really being called except for not, not trying to band together with your community. It's almost like you've got to seek your own counsel on this, but be your own community, if that makes sense. And the only thing that I can think of that can, that can, I can liken that to, that's it. Okay, listen, y'all that have things that are going on inside and you've got decisions to make, does it feel like you've got a whole bunch of people over here telling you one thing but you're over here going, I don't, I, mm, I don't, mm, I think I should go this way. Like they're telling you to zig, but your gut is telling you to zag. Do you have that going on? Teapot, you took a break to get a Belgian waffle. Are you kidding me? I don't mind you took a break. Take all the breaks you want. But you cannot be eating, Bel you cannot be eating Belgian waffles and I don't have any. Oh my Lord, I love me some waffles. Okay, so, um, yeah, right? Okay, so th there's, there's something going on, y'all, especially for the air signs that, is, again, it's a bunch of y'all are... <laughs> oh, teapot, I'm joking you, honey. That a group of people or one opinion is this like one faction of an opinion is this but you've got a different opinion or a different way um to go okay all right well you can take a break for whatever you want but belgian waffles girl um so i don't know what that is i'm going to move on a little quickly from that but really this is about you standing your own ground and standing in balance because you actually know better than the people that are advising you and I'm not sure what that means. I, I am sure that I am not a medical professional of any kind. So please don't, wa don't, you know, these readings are for entertainment purposes only. And I'm not telling you if you've got, you know, a professional physician or, you know, legal counsel or whatever, telling you one thing, you should go to the opposite direction. I'm not telling you that. I'm telling you that the energy <laughs> of the reading today is about, um, absolutely knowing that you see things in a more balanced perspective, in a stronger capacity than the people that are giving you the advice. And, and we're going to stick with that. Okay. And then I'm going to get another earth signs, wild ones. What is going on? Moose energy for the air signs. So now you've got elephant and moose. What? Whew. Okay. Air signs air signs if you're an air sign and i'm even going to open this to let's say that let's say that you've got a lot of let's say you're not an air sign but you've got a lot of air in your chart um in your astrology chart let's say that your rising sign is an air sign and you're some other element you know earth you know fire water spirit or fire water earth are you all working pretty diligently on your psychic skills on your reading skills whether it's psychic runes um, whatever, whatever. And one of y'all out there is eating peaches or something peach flavored at the moment. This is very especially for you. Mm. I keep, I'm tasting those, uh, peach O-rings, those candies, but this could be for any kind of peach. Um, even if you got called peaches or your nickname is peach, something having to do with peaches, this is especially for you. Wow. Wow. who is very specifically teapot <laughs> you and maureen man y'all can find those those uh icon things they're the emoticons they kill me um okay the, the um who, who here has been really 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 working on their psychic development because this is the thing right here you've got a horned or you know an animal with antlers and an animal with tusks now you start getting two of those kind of animals together, especially mammals. They're both mammals. Okay. And now you're talking about a connection to the divine. That's like a T1 line. I don't know if y'all know what a T1 line is in, in internet land, but it's like one of the fastest lines that, um, that a, a regular old consumer can get. It's, it's blazing fast and can handle all kinds of uploads and downloads. And it's, it, it, it is that it's I, wow. Y'all got something. 
I was drinking peach vodka with lemonade. Ma, ma, really ma? Where was our, I, my invitation must have got lost in the mail. Oh my gosh, peach vodka with lemonade? Woo! I need a minute, I'm having a personal summer. Okay, so this is, I don't know what this is going on, but there's something for you air signs about this is your time. This is really your time to tap into the divine and the messages are gonna be bigger. They're gonna be more clear. Um, and don't be surprised if they scare you a little bit because I keep, I feel like my whole body is being drawn up. And when I feel my whole body being drawn up, I know that's an elevation for a person in a way that they haven't considered elevating to or, or have considered and might be afraid to or are already on their way and feel like, oh my God, I'm spinning out of control, you know, like in a dream where you're like, you know, or like in Willy Wonka with the, he the, the, the fizzy lifting drinks and they're like, ooh, you know, they're not in control at all. Well, kind of they are, they can swim through them, but um, they're just rising, rising, rising. And that's what I feel like for you air signs. And when you're an air sign and you're starting to rise, what, what, what? Okay, great. Oh, Leslie, you're focused on medical intuitive work. Ooh, girl, better you than me. Woof. Um, there's something, I don't know, y'all, something, something's going on. The other thing that Moose is, um, is teaching us is, and especially for you air signs, you know, Gemini and Libra, sometimes it can be difficult for you all to tell the truth. You don't want to rock the boat you want to be loved. You hate confrontation. Aquarius, you don't know. Sometimes you're not telling the truth, but you're so committed to what your dream is, what you can really see that sometimes you put the cart before the horse. Sometimes, not all the time, but there is a big call for you all to see things as they really are. Not fool yourself because when you will see the truth of a matter, you'll see that it's actually governed by natural law and that like the universe is conspiring in your favor. No joke. So whatever these big decisions are this month or this week, really, really for the next two weeks that y'all have to make, please just meet it with the attitude of, I absolutely expect the best outcome of this. Of course, I just have to see it, right? It's like if you go and you well, I don't know that y'all do this, but I do, you know, honey crisp apples. I have a love affair with honey crisp apples. And I'll dig through 10 boxes of those things to find the, the ones that are the best. You know, you go to store or buy a cantaloupe. You just don't, don't willy nilly pick up the first cantaloupe you see. You got to tap on it. You got to shake it and listen to its insides. You got to smell it, right? Okay. It's that kind of thing. But once you've seen it, smelled it, felt it, you know, communed with it, the decisions that you have to make just stand in the seat of truth. I keep hearing this stand, in, well, stand in the seat, right? Stand in the seat of truth. Stand in the seat of truth. Stand in the seat of truth. Okay. All right, Earth Signs. I hope that was helpful. Boy, y'all, man, this was supposed to, I was like, this is going to be lighthearted, you know, Root Chakra Monday. Ha! I was wrong. I was lied to. All right, let's see what we got. Fire Signs. What? Okay. Now I'm going on to Aries, Leo, and Saggy. Aries, Leo, and Saggy. Oh, I don't know why I have this inverted. That's not how I picked it up. Hmm. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. White Peacock. Okay. I, I, I don't... I don't... I... This is about as simple of a message as it gets for y'all fire signs. There's something going on in the fire sign, the fire zodiac sign community that's part of the community of the wild pack. And I'm feeling... I'm feeling like you've literally got your eyes, all of them, your third eye, your human, these eyes, the eyes in the back of your head, the eyes that are in your ears, you literally have your eyes on the prize. 
and that is about money. Now, pentacles can mean anything, right? Okay, it can mean, you know, I mean, it is the five-pointed star, or they're fire, water, spirit. So it can be about abundance in every area of your life. But Miss Lady, Miss White Peacock is like, uh-uh. It's about the finest things. It's about the finest things that money can buy because the money that's coming in is uh, divine. I, I, I want to go on some kind of lengthy, you know, super deep sounding, you know, tarot reading for you guys about this. But in the traditional Rider Waite card, the Nine of Pentacles, it's one of my favorite cards. It's this old gal standing, um, you know, there with her, uh, in her beautiful robe and her, um, you know, in her lush garden and it just is such a, it's about being an independent businesswoman. It's about being a good businesswoman. You know, it's all of those things and more, right? And so I keep seeing that card in my head, like the traditional card, because the white peacock is actually the lady in the card. The white peacock does not correlate to the hawk or the falcon um, that she's, you know, is perched on her hand. It's like the white peacock is the lady and the lady is the white peacock. And, and the, how I am being shown this Wow. I want 10% of whatever you make, whatever you're about to make, because you heard it here first. Y'all, for you fire signs, there is something coming financially. It's just fantastic. If, let me tell you the big if, if you allow yourself to think, to dream, but most importantly, to do large enough. Let's say you're a person that says, well, you know, I, I would be happy with this. I'd be happy with that. Or, you know, if I can get to this, it's not what I would ultimately want, but I could be happy or I would be happy. What are you talking about? Why do you talk that way? Don't do that. Like a peacock does not just go, you know, I'd really love to display my feathers, but if I can just display them halfway, that'll be okay for me. Peacocks don't do that. They go for the gusto. Successful people, and let me be clear what I mean about that. It can be successful in business, but maybe you're overcoming an addiction. Maybe you are overcoming, um, an emotion, maybe you're overcoming trauma, maybe you're overcoming, maybe you're overcoming, maybe, you know, we can talk about, you know, all day long, but it is not your job in this life to settle. And what's weird is I'm talking to the fire signs. Well, I'm not, I mean, spirits talking to the fire signs and, and fire signs just are not zodiac signs that tend to want to settle. That's not who you all are. I mean, my God, Aries, Leo, and Saggy, Sagittarius, are you joking me? Like, you guys are the ultimate comets. You're like, incoming! And Aries, you know, you, you start before you know the rules, Sagittarius. Once you get scope locked on something, on, you know, do it, you, it's obsessive compulsive. And Leo, I mean, you are just like, you know, I'm the king of the jungle. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, that sign from Jungle Book, right? And uh, and you really are. Now, fortunately for the rest of us, you're also the, uh, an amazing humanitarian. But this seems like an awfully... Uh, uh, it's different. It is definitely a different message to come through for the fire signs because normally you all don't have to be reminded of this. So for you fire signs out there, and let me just say again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, whether that's your birth totem or you have one of those signs in your rising or a lot of placement of one of those in your chart, in your astrology chart, there's something going on with you where you are starting to settle in your mind. You're like, well, if this could happen or you know what, I'll just work towards this or whatever. 
Now, that's not to say that you should be focused on pipe dreams, although Bernadette is of the personal opinion that there's really no, no such thing as a pipe dream. There are variations of your dream. Again, I always use the example that even if I woke up tomorrow and I decided, poof, I want to be a professional female basketball player, that's not going to happen. No matter how hard I tried, no matter, no matter what I did. Now, if I really loved professional women's basketball, I could make it my business to find a job somewhere in that sphere, in that lane, in that vertical, right? I could do that. So could you, whatever you want. So this is not about settling. I mean, it is don't, it is about don't settle, but, but remember, I mean, when you take a look at the nine of pentacles, it's about independence, heaven on earth, right? Whatever your heaven on, ah, oh, der, that's it. Whatever your heaven on earth is, whatever version of that, that is, don't let go of that. Don't create like a motel six version of what you want for your life, whatever the, the schmanciest resort that you can think of is, or you know about, that's what you should have for your life, right? Now, that will also, you know, as, because this is, this card is about independence. And when you're gonna be a truly independent person and, and you're gonna be able to be solid and like a rock, ooh, um, that is going to require you to, make choices that can sometimes be hard, you know, like you've got a weekend and you want to get away. I want to get away. Uh, I want to fly away. And it just may not be prudent. That may not be the time. It, you, you know, the money may not be right. The weather may not be right. Okay. Once or twice. But if you put that off a dozen times, because a dozen times it wasn't right. Oh, uh, I would say that it is not, it is not the right place for you to go, or there's something else holding you back. What is that? And it's like, it, it's, uh, I don't even, I don't even know. I just don't, I, I just don't, just don't, 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 don't diminish your dreams. Don't diminish your wants. Don't diminish your job is to create your own heaven here on earth, whatever that means to you. But that means true heaven. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't know that from the time we're kids, everybody's raised differently. My mom raised me. She always said this and it has held me in good stead. You know, I used to get joked a lot as a kid because from the time I was a kid, um, you know, I wanted to go in the entertainment business and, uh, oh my God, I used to get joked about that, except for my mom wouldn't joke me. And she would say, listen, you can be whatever you want to be in life. You've just got to be prepared to roll up your shirt sleeves and get with it. So that's the attitude I always took. It never occurred to me that I would not be successful in the entertainment business. It never occurred to me once. And so I was. Um, it never occurred to me that I wouldn't be successful as a psychic medium, author, you know, reader, blah, 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 blah. That never occurred to me ever. It never entered my mind. Never. And so now has that come with a cost? Sure. I had to work. Yes, I did. Um, but I, I mean, I'm very fortunate. My life is full of a lot of amazing people who've overcome great odds to be what they always dreamed of being and not, 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 not settle for seconds, not settle for second place, not settle for third place. It's what they want and what you want will evolve as you go along, but be very, be, make sure it's not sour grapes, right? Especially you fire signs. You all are not good at sour grapes. Aries, you in particular, oh no. You, Aries, I'm talking directly to you, Aries. If you've got a lot of Aries in your, in your astrology chart, if you've got Aries in one of the key positions in one of your key, you know, houses, you get really self, um, punishing when you fail at something. This is not the time to do that. 
Sagittarius, you get mad when you aim at something and you let your arrow fly, you get furious. And Leo, you roar about it for a while, but you tend to rebound. You, you tend to just get right back up on the horse. However it is that this goes for you, there's just no other way to say it than White Peacock and the Nine of Pentacles is, is here to tell you right here this morning, in this moment, what time is it? It's straight up 10 o'clock. Well, at least by my clock. Okay, one clock reads 10.02 and one clock, one clock reads 10 o'clock. Okay. Either way, 10, think about that number. One is the number of creation. It's the zero point. And now you put the zeros after it and that's the number of creation multiplied. Think about that. At this moment, I was called to look at the time and the time is 10 o'clock. We're in the tens. Again, the number of creation. Whatever the heaven on earth is that you want to create, create it. Let me tell you something. Over this week, I'm going to get the, I'm going to get blooming things planted in my backyard. I'm very proud of this yard and I'll tell you why. Um, it's taken a long time to get there, but I've created what I wanted in my, in my mind to create. And it's taken considerable effort on a number of different fronts, including a number of different people. But any person that I show my backyard, they look at it and they go, this isn't a backyard. What do you mean by that? Do you realize you've created a sacred sanctuary? No, it didn't occur to me first. But as I look over the yard and I see what's happening without knowing that it's exactly what I did because my intention that I set for the beginning of my backyard fire signs. Okay. Was that it become a holy place where the energy, the vortex there was so pure and so calm and so peaceful and so full of love that if I ever felt whatever in my house, all I had to do was walk in my backyard, stretch, take in a deep breath, exhale, and back in I go to my house or wherever. And, and I didn't even realize that's the intention. That's the, so the way everything flows and the way it's, it's, it, you'll see pictures. It may not mean a whole lot to you when you see the pictures, but the vibe back there is started. And so it's, it's over budget way. It took way longer to accomplish than I thought it was going to do. And I didn't care. I just kept going. I was called to do it. Now I did not put myself in harm's way. Right. And so I know I'm, I'm belaboring this point, but I'm being, I, I, every time I go to want to get off of this heaven on earth, heaven on earth, heaven on earth thing, spirit thumps me in the back and it's like, no, tell them again, tell them this way, tell them again, tell them this way. So, um, I'm sorry. I was reading. Um, Ooh, Jenna, you created a medicine wheel. That's cool. Lily, your parents have three and a half acres. See, can you well, well, you, well, now see, can you well, your backyard is yours. You may not own the land, but I got news. Nobody owns the land. You can't own the earth. <laughs> we rent it while we're here, but we don't own it. Okay. So little C, big C. Oh, and just so y'all know, let me tell you something. Where I live, the developer bought the land and promptly, promptly filled in hundreds and hundreds of acres with the crappiest, just, it's not soil. It's like sugar sand mixed with clay. I don't know. Nothing grows back here. Nothing. So I had to have, what? I had to have topsoil hauled in and then I had to do manure over that and I had I called friends and said, Hey, uh, you want to rake up your leaves and bring them over to me so I can have the white mold that, you know, goes, gets up under there. People pay unbelievable money for that white, uh, that white mold stuff that it can, So I've created an entire ecosystem here. No joke, man. I've just completely me and the land, me and the spirits of the land, the ancients, as Lisa Snyder would say, we did it. I'm going to move on because we could talk about this heaven on earth for forever. I'm, I, I, y'all it's, it's, it's strong. I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. Um, and now we're going to go on to the water signs. Woo. 
because I do want to get to taking questions here uh, in just a few minutes. Um, okay, water signs. We're all about the emotion, right? Okay, let me see what card is going to come for you all today. Shuffling, shuffling. <sighs> We're done here. Uh, when I was a young wart frog. No, when I was a young wart hog. So you're welcome for the fire. Amy J. Pittman, are you a fire sign? No, you're not. You're you're a water sign, Amy, right? Amy, you're not a water sign? I gotta find out. I thought I really thought Amy was a water sign. Huh, who knew that? Okay, so frog, four of cups. And Warthog, Two of Cups. <laughs> and we're talking about emotion. Oh, my goodness. Did y'all ever seen Evita when the soldier guy played by the super hot Antonio Banderas in the movie? And he's singing about the money rolled in from all directions. All I can hear is, and the emotions rolled in from all directions. Uh, y'all are all up in the emotions today. That's all I can say. And when I take a look at what these cards mean individually, um, you know, when you take a look at the four of cups, you, a lot of people, well, I don't know about a lot of people. I just know I've had a lot of students and, and they start reading the books about the tarot card meanings and that kind of thing. And they're, you know, the, the debate rages, is this old boy or girl in a meditation? Um, are they sitting there pouting? What's the story? But, but how, how this appears to me always, especially in my own deck, right? When the frog shows up, unless their demons are disturbed, frogs don't move for love or money. They're, they're, they're pretty stalwart creatures. Um, and they'll sit there and they'll look at you for a hot minute before they decide to get up off that lily pad, uh, you know, and take a jump or, but they do, they jump into the water and out of the water and into the water and out of the water but they really prefer to stay wet or, you know, in, in or around water somewhere. Oh goodness. <sighs> okay. I'm having a minute y'all. Okay. So my job, just so you know, this is nothing to do with me, Bernadette. It has to do with what's incoming. When I set an intention to, to, when I set an intention to get a reading for, for what is hopefully going to be the message that's most suitable for the most, like if it was just for all y'all in the wild pack, or now we're doing the, we're doing the Zodiac signs as groups. I, I swim, I literally swim into dive into that energy pool and I'm going to make a bet right here, right now today. I bet for any of y'all that are out there that are water signs, your desire to learn mediumship has increased in the past week or two. Your, your seeing spirit has increased in the last week or two, especially in the last maybe even four to five days. And, um, and <laughs> Christina, Christina Buckingham, I wish all the bullfrogs by my house would all find mates so I could sleep at night. You know, then you've never been around bullfrog mating season because, um, you know, if you think they're loud when they're trying to find a mate, wait till they find a mate. You know, I know you know what I'm saying. Okay, so for those of you that are water signs, I want to say it again. Whether water sign is your birth totem or you've got a rising water or you've got a lot of water in your chart, your ability and willingness to see spirit, hear spirit, talk to spirit has amped up no joke in the last few couple weeks and, and it'll be way bigger moving forward and or your desire to really learn how to do that is, um, whew. okay. So all that said, here's why I'm heating up. Cause anytime I step into mediumship or it steps into me, the electricity in my body surges like, like it's Al like it's Alka Seltzer on steroids, and that's what I got cooking up in here. I I would bet you if we were in a practice circle, 
Those of you that think that you don't communicate clearly with spirit yet or communicate with the discarnates, um, that's people out of body, not in body. If you're incarnated, you're in your body. If you're discarnated, you're out of your body. Um, that's a that's a spiritualist national church thing. Um, I would bet you anything you would have the most astonishing results, truly. So if any of y'all are in a if any of y'all are in a practice circle, don't avoid going to practice circle over the next couple of weeks because I'm telling you things are going to come out of your mouth that you don't even you're like who said that? You might even you might even end up doing some serious channeling. Okay, so this message for the water signs. Let me just say what this means. You know, the two of cups is about the perfect pairing. And certainly that can teapot mean a Belgian waffle and some and a mimosa. Um, but um, it, it's the perfect pairing of everything, but that might even mean for yourself, case in point. I, I want, you know, these readings are never about what Bernadette wants. But if I step out of myself as a psychic tarot reader, channel medium shamanic practitioner and i am just bernadette honest to goodness i want most for everyone in the world to realize their own worth and to act and react based on that and that is that you're invaluable that's not the same as ego that is the same as please know that you're capable of anything like literally capable of anything and this perfect pairing that warthog is trying to tell you in the meditative state of four of cups is take a minute just take a minute and for that that you know that you truly want and what that's going to require you to do is have confidence people only waffle about what they want when they're not confident their fear that they'll not be able to do it, not be able to get it, not be able to have it, that'll get you before anything else will. That'll kill your dreams dead. D-E-D, dead. And that's a shame because hope and dreams and love, uh, is there any other reason to be alive? Mm, this is a hard world we live in, y'all, especially for you all, the wild pack. Y'all are the most loving, sensitive, kind, compassionate, it's astounding, truly astounding. It's, it's like, it's like pack of angels, right? City of angels, pack of angels. And I'm telling you, whatever this perfect pairing is that you want in your life, it is a sacred union. It's sacred. You cannot not do it. You, you, you if you need to sit in meditation before you take that leap off that lily pad, okay. But realize you cannot live on that lily pad forever. You've got to come off at some point. Got to come off at some point. Um, now is good. Jane, happy birthday to Jane. Hi, Jane. Whichever Jane you are. Oh, Jane Fowler, happy birthday to Jane. Happy birthday to Jane. Happy birthday, dear Jane. Happy birthday to you. Yay, the crowd goes wild. Okay, so um, yeah, it's... Uh, Whatever, whatever other thing you don't have in your life, other thing, other person, other circumstance, or even of yourself, stop everything you're doing and, and figure out why that is. There's something regarding love, like truly in love with something um, I got yelled at yesterday by a couple of friends of mine. They really thought they were doing me a favor. They, they sent me a, uh, one of them sent me a text. One of them sent me an email. And of course I responded right away. And they were like, what are you doing? And then something about my, one of my websites. And they were like, what are you doing? Responding to your email and to your text? What, why? Well, you're not supposed to be working. I'm not working. Well, what are you doing in front of your computer? What makes you think I'm in front of my computer? Bernadette. Okay, I'm in front of my computer. What are you doing? I said, shopping on Amazon. <laughs> they said, BS. And we just had, we've been back and forth about this whole conversation. Some of y'all will scrapbook till not till the wee hours in the morning. Some of y'all will sew. Some of y'all will perfect recipes. Some of you all do stock trading online. Some of you all just re, I mean, who knows what you're doing till two and three in the morning. I happen to like, that is my form of art. That my, was my form of creation. It makes me feel good. It makes me happy. And so I do it. 
but I don't, it doesn't just make me happy. I love it. I love it. So whatever circumstance you want to create in your life, whatever perfect pairing you want, even if it's a romantic relationship, A, don't settle for second best. We learned that from what? From the fire signs today. And B, absolutely positively beyond a shadow of a doubt, do not, do not not believe that it cannot be perfect for you. I don't mean perfect like, well, these things are wrong or I wish these things were this way. But other than that, it's perfect. That's like a backhanded compliment. That's like when people say, oh, you've lost weight. You look so good. Okay. You see where I'm going with this? All right. So for these last few minutes, I'm going to open the floors, the floor. <laughs> I'm opening the floor up. Um, I'm going to open up the chat for um, questions. So for the last 15 minutes or so of this morning, and listen, thank you all again um, to Maureen, to Teapot, um, uh, definitely to Amy, because she's going to come save my day later today. <sighs> okay. I'm going to wait to show you what this card is till the very end. But I, I was like, okay, well, let me go ahead and draw the card that's going to be the last. Okay. So who's got specific questions? Okay, Jenna. So you say there was something missing for the air signs. You mean missing specifically for you? So Jenna, when I step into your energy, um, it's, uh, it's really kind of funny the way you phrase the question because you feel like something's missing. I don't know if you were here at the very beginning, but the whole intention of today was um, about the signs that we're missing and how to see them. And so your, your question's kind of funny. Um, not funny like in a mean way, but I'm like, how ironic. Uh, but when I step into your energy, Jenna, I'm drawn up north, and I'm not sure why I'm drawn up north. Um, you know, moose are certainly indigenous of the up north, but that, I mean, I can, I get moose for people all over the world. I, you know, I, I read for people in Africa and Turkey and England and Australia and China and Japan. Um, I'm looking away cause I'm seeing what I'm seeing. I just really feel like there's some, something up north and I keep wanting to go up, to go up, to go up. And I, I'm wondering if you have a move that you're considering or maybe you're originally from the north, um, but there's something about the north energy that it's important to know that you, um, that Moose is telling you you'll survive. Not only will you survive, but you'll thrive. And what that means is no matter, hard, no matter how harsh the environment gets around you, for you, Jenna, and this might, this might go for the rest of the air signs, um, no matter how harsh or cold or a little tough to navigate in or a lean time, like, you know, winter is a lean time, not nearly, you know, things don't grow uh, during a winter the way that they do, you know, obviously during the rest of the year. Something is, uh, something about that is for you. And so it is, um, I did net, uh, uh, Natalia Vargas, I drew for the air signs at the very beginning of the, at the beginning of the hour or the uh, beginning of the day, you could go back and watch it. The message will be just that relevant. So I hope that's helpful for you, um, Jenna. And so, uh, right. So I'm going to go on to the next question. Okay, I have a couple of people on here that have asked about divorce. So I'm going to just pull a card for both of y'all or three of y'all if I saw it. Um, you want to know if you're... You can't make this up. Oh, dang it. I shuffled back in the other card. Phooey. Um, you can't make this up. <laughs> Jenna. Jenna. Jenna, who was saying, I feel like something's missing from the moose card. Honey, 
that wasn't anything that was missing from before what you were feeling was it was going to come up again so it was missing because you were feeling the precognitive energy yeah, yeah, yeah. okay for those of y'all that um are going through a divorce and you want to know if it's going to turn out like you want no here's what i mean by that before you have a heart attack no because what you think you want is not really what you want and some of the things you think you want i'd rethink I would rethink them. I really would rethink them. And that is a nebulous question. Will the divorce turn out like what I want? I don't know what that means. But the energy that I'm feeling about it is you don't know what that means because you're everywhere. Right now what I'm seeing, so for those of you that are, are learning to work with animal energy, I'm an intuitive reader and you can't possibly be a reader with the animals unless you're an intuitive because they can mean so many different things right and just taking the words out of one person's book or one person's set of cards or whatever and thinking that's the gospel as regards animals don't do that that is really 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 limiting your relationship with the animals now there are myths and there are legends and there are stories that have been passed down and symbolism that has been passed down that of course is is absolutely very very specific to that animal to that critter right but but you like what i'm seeing here is for the people going through the divorce I, all i can see are just on an antlers rack just tons of little buds crossed crisscrossed all of this like everything is just crisscrossed and that tells me that you're thinking about this divorce has been a little bit of a jumbled mess not in a negative way but because you haven't sit because you haven't specifically defined specifically defined what you want what you will take and what you will not take period of the story it won't go the way you want i would really encourage you to use those uh antlers to 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 connect with the divine to see what it is that you really truly want and what you will and will not do because there will come a point i mean divorces are like this anyway but i just feel like for both of you all I just feel like your 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 divorces are contentious like there's not good juju going on and you're going to be forced not, nope you're going to be asked to stand your ground and you might get into a situation where you're just so over it or so tired you're like fine whatever give it don't do that because I feel like there's something that's going to come back to bite you if you do that you've got to stand your ground okay I hope that was helpful um okay um jane will i find out what is causing my health problems absolutely i don't even have to pull a card on that one and you know what i'm being told it's going to be very it's going to be minor it's kind of like when somebody is like oh my god i hear this in my car i hear this oh here it is here's the card that i came earlier there's and you're they're like thinking oh my god my engine you know is blowing a rod this is happening that's happening and it turns out to be one little screw or one little hose that's got to be put in one little place and that's going to be the issue um jane jane fowler i also kind of feel like you're moving but um i, I keep hearing a move okay all right um let's see what's the next question maria trip to florida will this happen soon i don't know what soon is to you uh, maria but yep kiwi oh yes nikki you come move next door to me it'll be a party up here every single day every day you know anytime you have a bird card it's about awareness it's about you know they are listen birds are the most sensitive creatures ever they're so fragile they're just so sensitive. I mean, they can feel the currents and the undercurrents of everything. However, what I'm being told, Maria, is that you are feeling like you have ample time and you're like, well, it could wait a week. It could wait this. It could do this. You know, I, I know I need to do this. I know I want to do this, but, 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 but I'm not sure why you, I, I think I know why you want to go. I don't think you have really allowed it to seat in you as a need, as in you need to go. And what that means is 
you, you got to go. Make it happen sooner than later. And, and, and things will turn out much better than you imagine. Um, much better than you imagine. And so I, I would make that a priority. I, I really would. I know Kiwi is telling you that. Um, also, Maria, I keep seeing two phones with you. I feel like somebody has one phone, but then they have another phone that's a secret phone that they keep secrets and make secret phone calls on. I don't know. Now that could be physical or what it could mean. I saw that a couple times before in readings when what was happening was there was a triangulation of, um, of communication and my client was right up in the middle of it, meaning um, her husband was stepping out on her. I mean, that could, that's been thousands and thousands of clients. Uh, and, and so it wasn't about a physical phone. It was about the communication going on that was behind her back. That was a second line of communication that she didn't know about. So Maria, I feel like there's a second line of communication that you don't know about yet, or you have your suspicions of. But I don't, I'm not hearing that it's personal so much as it's business. So I'm not really sure what that means for you, but there's a business thing going on where there's a, and, and I, I, would, I would follow my lead and my instincts on that. I'd sniff that out and nip that in the bud. Real double dutch quick. I hope that's helpful. Okay, you guys, I'm going to have to wrap it up. Um, man, I hope you like the format of today's, um, of today's tarot readings for everybody. It is... Uh, you know, I, I want to stick to a format and I will, we'll always do Zodiac signs on Mondays, but there might come another time where instead of getting to you all individually as a Zodiac time, there might come another time where it comes, you know, I'm, I'm told to do this in groups. So I hope that was helpful. And so <laughs> I've pulled a card to be the final card of the day. What? The 10 of pentacles. That is about true family. It's about wealth and family, abundance, celebration. Um, I don't know who is your family, but celebrate with them. I know it's Monday and we all have to get on with our merry business with our lives. You know, you might be, you may be retired. You may be, you know, laid off. You may be, you know, hunting a job. You may be independently wealthy. You know, I, I don't know. You could have any kind of number of circumstances um, in your life at the moment, none of those matter. It's like, no matter what schedule that you're under, you're really being asked to spend time with family because here's why in all seriousness, I'm really, really, um, really being told that from people that you consider family, and this is for all the Zodiac signs. Um, I, you're going to get a message that is such a powerful message from somebody in your family. They don't even know they've delivered it. Like something they're going to say is just going to be like, and it might even be uncharacteristic of them to, to phrase it that way or use particular words in that way, but it's going to happen. And so you definitely need to be around family to help you just be happy be connected, be fulfilled. But again, there's a, there's a, and I'm hearing it as a, as a crucial message, like super important. So that you're going to hear that you're going to experience that you're going to see by being in touch with your family. And that may be something as simple as you pick up a phone and call your cousin or your sister or your, you know, maybe your best friend from college or high school or whatever that you consider family, whatever you, whoever you consider family. And yeah, I would go so far as to say that, um, that would include your fur babies, their family. And you may have a fur baby that acts differently or does something, you know, whatever. And that could be the message from them. So, um, many, many thanks to my moderators again, you know, um, Teapot and Maureen, um, Amy and Joel, I thank you for all you do. Wild Ones, I just thank you very much. Thank you for showing up to these lives. Thank you for supporting the ARC, the book, the work that the Animal Allies and I do. I certainly hope that um, these readings have been helpful. Uh, if they were, I would love it if you would share them on your social media channels. 
and uh, I'm going to leave the chat open for a little while. And, um, oh, Lily, you're coming too? Hey, listen, I think you guys should just buy out the entire block and we'll just, we'll just all the wild ones, we'll have a big old wild pack right here on my block. That would be awesome. Really, truly, it would be. Um, and so I am going to say thank you very much. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the little ringy dingy bell thingy. And what are the most important things, as always, to do good for animals, including yourself, and stay wild. Take care, everybody.